You want to tone up. It is the most common goal I hear. You want to look lean, defined and athletic, but not bulky. So you start eating 1-200 calories a day and doing endless cardio. But after weeks of suffering, you look in the mirror and realize something terrifying. You are getting smaller, yes, but you are also getting softer. You are losing weight, but you still have the flab. You are becoming a smaller version of your current self, or what we scientifically call skinny fat. If you want to actually transform your physique, I mean really change the shape of your body, not just the number on the scale, you need to stop listening to generic weight loss advice. You need a body recomposition protocol. Today, we are going to break down the exact mechanism of how your metabolism works, the math behind calories that nobody explains correctly, and the three pillars of training, nutrition, and lifestyle that will finally reveal the muscle definition you have been chasing. Let's start with the engine. Your metabolism. Most people treat their metabolism like a mysterious black box. They think they need to boost it with spicy teas or special supplements. That is nonsense. Scientifically, your metabolism is simply the total amount of energy your body spends in a day, known as TDE, total daily energy expenditure. To hack fat loss, you need to understand the four components of this equation. First, you have your BMR, or basal metabolic rate. This is 70% of your daily burn. If you laid in bed all day watching Netflix, this is what you would burn just to keep your heart beating and organs functioning. You cannot manipulate this much, except by having more muscle mass. Second is NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is about 15% of the pie. This is fidgeting, walking to the car, typing, and carrying groceries. Remember this acronym NEAT because it is the secret weapon we will come back to later. Third is TEF, the thermic effect of food. This is about 10%. Your body burns calories just to digest the food you eat. And finally, the smallest slice of the pie, only about 5%, is ET, exercise activity thermogenesis. That implies your gym session. Yes, that brutal hour of cardio you hate only accounts for a tiny fraction of your daily burn. This is why you cannot out-train a bad diet. Now that we understand the engine, let's talk about the fuel. The calorie math. The laws of thermodynamics apply to everyone. To lose weight, you must be in a caloric deficit. To gain weight, a surplus. However, here is where the tone-up strategy differs from a weight loss strategy. If you slash your calories too aggressively, say, cutting 1,000 calories overnight, your body hits the panic button. It doesn't know you want abs. It thinks you are starving in a famine. So, it downregulates your thyroid production and makes you lethargic to conserve energy. Worse, it starts breaking down muscle tissue for fuel. When you lose muscle, your BMR drops. You are sabotaging your own engine. The solution is a conservative deficit. We are looking for a deficit of roughly 200 to 300 calories below your maintenance. This is the sweet spot that allows for body recomposition losing fat while maintaining or even building muscle tissue. But calories are just one part of the story. You can eat 500 calories of donuts or 1,500 calories of steak and potatoes. The effect on your body composition will be drastically different. This brings us to the most critical variable, macronutrients. Protein is non-negotiable. If there is one thing you take away from this video, let it be this. When you are in a calorie deficit, your body looks for energy. If you don't provide a reason for it to keep your muscle, it will eat your biceps before it eats your belly fat. Protein is the signal that tells your body, keep the muscle, we need this. The current literature suggests aiming for 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you need to aim for roughly 120 to 150 grams of protein daily. There is another massive benefit to protein, the thermic effect. Remember TEF? Protein has a TEF of up to 30%. That means if you eat 100 calories of chicken breast, your body uses 30 of those calories just to digest it. Compared to fats or carbs, which have a TEF of less than 10%, protein is literally a metabolic hack. It keeps you fuller longer and burns more energy to process. Now I know hitting that protein goal can be confusing if you don't know what to eat. Before we move on to the training mistakes that are killing your gains, if you are finding this scientific breakdown helpful, take a second to click that subscribe button. I'm planning a full What I Eat in a Day video specifically for body recomposition. 
and I don't want you to miss the practical examples. Moving on to fats and carbs, do not demonize them. You need fats for hormonal regulation. If your fat intake drops too low, your testosterone and estrogen levels crash, which makes fat loss harder. Aim for about 0.4 grams of fat per pound of body weight. For carbs, focus on fiber. Complex carbs like oats, quinoa, and vegetables provide sustained energy. Simple sugars spike your insulin and leave you hungry an hour later. It's not that sugar stops fat loss, but it makes adhering to the diet significantly harder because of the hunger swings. Now let's talk about training. This is where the concept of toning needs to be redefined. Toning is a marketing term. Physically, you cannot tone a muscle. You can only make a muscle bigger or smaller. What you think of as a toned look is simply having enough muscle mass combined with a low enough body fat percentage to see that muscle. Therefore, your primary training focus must be resistance training. You need to lift weights. Ladies, listen to me. Lifting weights will not make you bulky. To get bulky, you need massive amounts of testosterone and a huge calorie surplus. Lifting weights while in a deficit will simply make you look firm, sculpted, and athletic. Aim for three to five sessions of strength training per week. Focus on progressive overload, trying to do a little bit more weight or more reps than you did last week. So where does cardio fit in? Cardio is a tool for health, not the primary driver of fat loss. If you do too much HIT, high-intensity interval training, you spike your cortisol and your hunger signals. You burn 300 calories on the treadmill, but then you go home and eat 500 calories because you are starving. Instead of killing yourself with cardio, focus on NEAT. This is the most underrated fat loss tool in existence. Remember, NEAT is 15% of your daily burn, while gym cardio is only 5%. Simply increasing your daily step count from 3,000 dollars to 10,000 steps can burn an extra 300-400 calories a day without spiking your hunger or causing fatigue. It is pure fat loss leverage. Walk while you take calls. Take the stairs. Park further away. It sounds trivial, but over a month, the math adds up to pounds of pure fat lost. Finally, we need to address the silent killers of fat loss, sleep and stress. You can have the perfect diet and the perfect workout plan, but if you are sleeping five hours a night, you are fighting a losing battle. A study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine showed that when participants cut their sleep from 8.5 hours to 5.5 hours, the amount of fat they lost dropped by 55%. Read that again. They lost the same amount of weight, but more of it came from muscle mass, not fat. Sleep deprivation makes your body catabolic. It wants to hoard fat and shed muscle. Similarly, chronic stress raises cortisol. Chronically high cortisol leads to water retention and abdominal fat storage. It masks your progress. You might be losing fat, but the water retention from stress makes the scale look stuck. This leads to frustration, which leads to quitting. So, here is your actionable protocol to actually tone up. 1. Calculate your maintenance calories and subtract 200-300. Do not starve yourself. 2. Prioritize protein. Aim for 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight. 3. Lift heavy weights 3 to 4 times a week to send the signal to build muscle. 4. Stop relying on cardio to burn calories. Increase your daily steps, neat, instead. 5. Sleep 7-9 hours a night. It is the most powerful fat-burning supplement you can take. Transforming your body isn't about suffering the most. It's about being the most consistent with the right variables. Trust the science, put in the work, and the results will follow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.